dear viewers i am going to show now how we can collect data from world bank so uh, among a lot of data set the world development indicators is very popular in this space uh, we saw, see that there are a lot of uh, buttons a lot of uh, countries lot of data set lot of years layout style and how to save share embed and how to download that every option is available here so first uh, i am going to click data set so in this data set there are 85 data sets are available so i click world development indicator there are also a statistical capacity indicator gender statistics education statistics poverty equity are uh, doing business and jobs global economics prospects africa development indicators and there are a lot of data set so i click on world development indicator and then i will go the country option this is very important uh, for you uh, what is your target to select single country or to select multiple country or to select group of countries or you can select a continent you can select a, a special region or you can select the whole world also so uh, there are 266 country also we know that there are around 110 countries uh, listed in united nations and fifa or other organization around 210 but there are 260 266 countries and uh, and uh, you can select single countries by click uh, beside the country and you can read details about these countries and uh, this is called view metadata you can select details about the countries so so uh, about these countries okay so then uh, again i say so that you can select single countries or you can select uh, a special region such as south asia europe central africa middle east east asia sub saharan africa latin america caribbean north america and income related countries low income uh, lower middle income upper middle income high income and the leading some countries IDA, IBRD, and blend countries. Okay. So uh, suppose I am going to select South Asia. And there are eight countries in the South Asia. So I click all of the countries. You can click all of the countries and you can you can deselect all of the countries. So I am uh, going to select all of south asian countries okay my country option is done now i am going to select the series this is also important you have to select your series based on your research suppose i am going to select how uh, economic uh, variables population and energy related variables can affect on carbon emission in South Asia. So first I need, uh, there are 1,443 variables. And uh, this is the list of the variables. So it is tough to find out uh, uh, or tough to select a specific variable. So uh, I click the carbon dioxide uh, I put the carbon dioxide on the search box, then I uh, click the OK button and there are carbon emission and carbon emission KZ per uh, 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 2017 PPP and uh, GDP and carbon emission and the KT and carbon emission, emission metric tons per year. So I select carbon emission and there is a metric 
uh, uh, there is a metadata data where you will get details information about the, the, this variable. So from where this variable came, details about this variable, how they measurement this variable. So uh, suppose I select the uh, CO2 emission and then uh, I select CO2 emission metric tons per capita. So then I need the population data uh, because population can affect carbon emission. So uh, there are uh, there are uh, 238 population related variable. So I select um, po population uh, population total. So I I am going to also select uh, rural population or uh, and I need the urban population. So there is the urban population. So you can select population growth, uh, urban population, how much urban population percent of total population. So uh, then I need the GDP related variable, uh, GDP or GDP per capita. And here I can select uh, gross domestic product. Uh, this is the, okay, gross value add product, um, gross uh, inflation, gross savings. There are a lot of variables you can select who is variable you need uh, for your research paper. So I select here GDP, uh, PPP, current international dollar, and GDP per capita, PPP, um, current USD dollar. Uh, so, and I select the GDP growth. I don't, uh, I select uh, some related variables so that I can apply who is variable is uh, is um, mainly applicable for my research. So then I, I am going to select the trade variables. Uh, so there are, are trade percent of GDP. This is called the trade openness variable, trade in service percentage of GDP. Uh, so there are others variable of trade. So uh, for the pollution or carbon dioxide emission related variable, I select population, I select uh, trade and I select some export. It is also related with uh, carbon emission. So there are a lot of export related value. Uh, I can select export value index. Okay, so I can select uh, export of good and service percent of GDP. Uh, export of good and service current US dollar. So also I can select uh, 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 energy, energy use. This is related with carbon emission. So there are a lot of uh, uh, energy related variables here. Uh, 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 19 variables are available. So for she, uh, fossil fuel energy consumption, energy use, uh, and also I can select carbon dioxide intensity. So uh, I have done with 16 variables. I can select others variables uh, uh, related with the uh, foreign direct investment, remittance, uh, 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 and the industry related variables that is also uh, related with uh, my carbon emission. So uh, there is no industrial, okay. So industrial design application industry. So uh, uh, industry, so uh, I, I didn't get this variable, but uh, there are some industry related variable are available here. So, um, so I am also going to uh, select uh, some variable that maybe reduce the pollution. So I selected variables that are related with carbon emission. Now I am going to select some variable that's, that, that can minimize uh, the pollution or minimize the carbon emission. Suppose research and development. Okay, there are research and development, uh, uh, researchers in uh, research and development, permanent population, research and development expenditure. And I can uh, select the forest area. Uh, 
Okay, there are a lot of forest variables. So forest area uh, is square kilometer, forest area percent of land uh, area. So uh, agriculture, fishing, and uh, forest, uh, agriculture, forestry, and fishing, annual percentage growth. Okay, so I already done uh, with 20 variables. So I am going to select the time frame. Uh, um, I am going to make panel data because I also selected uh, eight countries and I need uh, some years. So if I select, uh, uh, there are a lot of options, 50 years, 25 years, 20 years. So if I select 20 years, I will get data from 2001 to 2020. If I select 25 years, I will select data from uh, 1996 to 2020. If I select 50 years, I will get data from 1971 to 2020. So I select 20 years data set from 2001 to 2020. So I am done with four uh, sectors here, database, I select world development indicator, country, I select South Asia, there are eight countries, I select series, uh, carbon emission, and uh, and those variable can effect on carbon emission. So I select 20 variables. And I also select the time frame, there are 20 years. Okay, so uh, I have done to my selection, and now there is a layout. Uh, layout give me a lot of option mm. or a styles layout means uh, how I uh, there is a, a data set layout uh, how you want uh, want you data in Excel file or CSV file or uh, anyway so I can put my column uh, column in the uh, in the so I can put my uh, series in the uh, row. I can put my uh, time parallel with my column. So there are a lot of uh, version. This is called layout. You can put your column in the row. You can put your column in the uh, column, you can put your time in the row, you can put your time in the column, you can put your series in the row, you can put your series in the column, you can put your uh, your uh, variables names or indicator names in the column or in the row. So there are a lot of options that help you uh, to find out your optimum layout. So, uh, okay, so I select this layout. Okay. So there is a preview option. You can select apply sense. So this help you to sense your present data set layout and clear previous data set layout. So I select here apply changes. Okay, so, uh, so I got my desired data level here. So uh, there is a uh, 18 countries, uh, 20 series, and 20 years. Okay, so uh, in the right side, there is a download option. So I can select, select Excel data, CSV data, text TTT, and metadata, and there is all. There are also a lot of advanced options. So I think you don't uh, uh, need advanced option. Most of the data we get or uh, we collect uh, or we use in the Excel format. So I select Excel format, and and the, this will take some a few seconds, and I will get my desired Excel file here. So I click OK, and then I will go to my Excel 